The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. 1420 Sports Bar Podcast, four viewers sports talking a whole lot more. One of my favorite segments, we do it once every uh, every couple of weeks. It's uh, simple, quite simple, Dave. Who is better? You know how it goes. I know how it goes. Ready to go? I'm always ready to go when it's time for who is better. Who is better? Brandon Staley, coach of the uh, the Los Angeles Rams, or Brandon Walsh from Los Angeles 90210? Los Angeles Rams, Brandon Beverly Staley. Beverly Hills, I know, too, right now. No, yeah. no, no. I know that's the one I did know. You said Brandon Staley. Like, McVeigh is the coach of oh, the Rams. Be- Mc- 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 McVeigh, so sorry. M- made a mistake. No, the Chargers coach, sorry. Oh, Char- Chargers I coach. blew it. Oh, fuck. That's okay. Um, <laughs> You know what? I uh, When I was a kid and watching uh, 90210, I always figured myself I I... I I identified more with Brandon than I did Dylan. And so, um, but you were more of a Steve Walsh kind of a guy. No, I, I thought Steve Walsh was or a, Steve, whatever his last name was. Steve. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like I know who you're talking about big Steve. Oh, really? You got, you, you paid me as a Steve guy. He was a nozzle. Oh, so you thought I was a nozzle. Now I know. <laughs> no, no. I thought we were friends for fuck's <laughs> sake. No, I'm gonna give this one to Brandon Walsh uh, of Nano Two One O character fame. What was his name? He's a Canadian, actually, too. I don't know what his Jason name. Priestley. Jason Priestley. Yeah, give me Good the guy. Jason. Give me the Jason Priestley over the uh, the coach of the um. Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers. I blew it. I apologize. It's one of those things. That's uh, okay. Who is better? Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, Kenny Pickett of a uh, friend of the show, fan of the show, uh, of the uh, Fuck the Steelers. So this better band. be good. Kenny Pickett of the Pittsburgh Steelers or Kenny Loggins? Oh. Man, I was hoping you were going to say Kenny Rogers because I would have said Kenny Rogers all day, every day. Kenny Loggins is Mr. Soundtrack. I'm all right. Highway to the Danger Zone. Uh, All that shit. Kenny Pickett is too new. So I'm going to have to give this to Kenny Loggins because he's, you know, he's foot loose. He got to cut foot loose. And you, you know what I, li- I like about Pickett? He's not flashy. Yeah, you play in that in the grit city in, in, in Pittsburgh. What I like about Pickett, he's not he's serviceable. And I think that's all you need to win. I don't mind Pickett. I think so. This I is think he's thing. serviceable. I like him. Yeah, you know what? Um uh, he's a quarterback in a situation with a bad OC. Um Two and one. Uh, I, I agree with uh, fan of the van um, that uh, their OC is not okay. And it'd be interesting to see what a, a real coach can do with him. But you know, uh, the one thing, even though I don't dig on Kenny Loggins music, that guy has like, he knows how to sell a fucking soundtrack album there was uh, there's a couple songs from the uh the caddyshack soundtracks that just <laughs> i'm absolute, all right i'm all right and they're the, <laughs> nobody's fool from from the uh, caddyshack too unbelievable how good that's a great song well oh, and then uh, like uh take my breath away oh well not that oh, that's not him like uh highway to the danger zone I, I, quite like, I quite like kenny uh Kenny Loggins. Uh, number three here, Dave. Who is better? Uh, 0-3 quarterback this season with the Minnesota Vikings, Kirk Cousins, or Kirk Cameron? <laughs> I don't know where I come up with this shit. I really you know what? I kind of dig that one because I love that show. What was it called with Alan Thicke? I really dug that show. What was back that show? So no, that wasn't Silver Spoons. It wasn't Family Ties. It was, but uh, it was similar but different. But like, and okay. I had a crush on Kirk Cousins' stage mom. Um, 
and Boner was Joanna his buddy. Kearns was her name. Oh yes, yeah, I really dug out of her. Um, she was cute. Yeah, she was a she was milk. She, she wasn't cute. She was milky. hot because I was. Damn. Oh yeah, she was a mom, right? Like she was a good mom, and Kirk Cousins, I can't really get behind him as a quarterback that I think is gonna. Take my team to the promised land. He's a good guy. Growing and pains. I, and I would have growing pains. Exactly. Good. And I have no problem with um, Kirk Cousins taking, watching my kids for an afternoon while I went out for, for lunch with the wife. But then Kirk Cousins turned himself into a, a really weird guy. So Kirk I'm going to... Kirk Cameron turned into a really weird guy. He's a different cat. He's evangelistic. He a, uh, stuff. Yeah. Stuff. And then he believe was, we want to believe. Just like this, uh, we're not here to judge, but yeah. Whatever. But you know what? Uh, give me Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins over Kirk Cameron. Yeah. Kirk Cameron's uh, demographic probably doesn't reach our same de- demographic. There's probably a lot of things, different things going on there. Uh, yeah. I, they, they're both uh, not favorites of mine. Like, I'm not going to call Kirk. Uh, Kirk Cousins to be the quarterback of my football team, and I'm also not going to call Kirk uh, Cameron to uh, star on my next TV show. So whatever, one of those things. Uh, I got one, two, three left. Uh, Dave, who is better, Zach Wilson or Wilson Phillips? Wilson Phillips. Fuck Zach Wilson. It ain't close. Come on. Um, hold on for one what more. What you got to do? Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> I started. Yeah. For sure. Wilson Phillips, like, give me that. That one hit was great. That's that three or four other ones. Yeah. I uh, know. Hold on for one more day. Yeah. Yeah. Mahoney does a great version of that with their, their sped up guitars. It's fucking fantastic, I, actually. I'm sure they do. Yeah. Like, you know, that, 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 that hold on. Hold on for one more day. Yeah. yeah you bet. Wilson Phillips. Uh, he's had a tough loss this week in the GM of the, uh, Dallas Cowboy GM owner and all around, uh, dickhead, uh, Jerry Jones, who is better Jerry Jones from Dallas Cowboys or Davy Jones from the Mike from the monkeys. I can't stand the Cowboys. I can't stand Jerry Jones. I would way rather have Jerry Jones' bank balance than Davy Jones. Davy Jones is my answer. No questions asked. That's the, the monkeys. I remember watching them when they were on MTV or not it was much music here in Canada. I remember that they had their like their four actual, o'clock your day was yeah. on much music after school kind yeah. of deal. You watched that after school. Like it was it was and goofy. it was a heartthrob too. Like and they were only around for three or four years, and it was on the sixties. And for some reason, MT or much music played that after the fact. They were great, and that, that song "Daydream Believer," I love that song. I absolutely love you bet. that song. Yeah. Same, same. No, I'll take D- Davy Jones as well. Uh, two more. Who is better, Joe Buck or Buck Martinez? Joe Buck. Hate Buck Martinez. Really? I hated Buck. I hated Buck Martinez in 1987 when he started that fucking gig. How about them Blue Jays? Go fuck yourself, Buck. I like I Buck. I can't. Oh, I cannot. I love Joe Buck. I like that motherfucker. And I understand he had cancer and he came back and this and like so, so all that kind of shit. Like I, I have. Thank you, Buck, for being healthy and being back on the air. Okay, thank you. But fuck you, Buck Martinez. Can't say he's the first Homer I hated. Really? How about them Blue Jays? I Dan? quite like Buck Martinez. Oh, he's no Joe Buck, but oh, he's not even he's like you know, Fuck, he's no Bo, Joe Buck. Of, of course, like he's not Joe Buck. Like Joe Buck is Joe Buck is fucking flaming. No, hey, who's better, Joe Buck or Buck Hunter? Who's Buck Hunter? The the, 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 the video game. Oh, Joe Buck. You know, I like I, I like I won't put up with any Joe Buck hate. Joe Buck knows how to I do agree. Like Joe Buck, I remember Joe Buck's the, the 
like back back in those like that I, I talked before the, the uh, that 2001 World Series the the Yankees against Diamondbacks and how is it on and on it goes. Joe Buck was the voice of that, and it's it, it, like yes, the Yankees lost, but that it was such a great a great World Series, not just because of the 9-11 thing, but the, the way the, the, the baseballs played out. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, 9-11 added to it, but Joe Buck was such the voice. It's still in my head. I, I can hear everything. He, he, like Joe, I think to me, Joe Buck is top three announcers. Al, in all Al Michaels and Joe Buck are my two favorites of yeah, all time. hundred percent. For, ev- said, for everything. Anybody who said and things then, bad about Joe Buck, they're stupid. They're fucking Go stupid. fuck yourself. I hope they're stupid because it shows they're stupid. It, it, no, he's great. It pisses me off a little bit that like now that he's with ESPN, he doesn't get to call World Series games anymore. Because like, like, yeah. like you just said, oh. like his calls, like his baseball, he's a better baseball commentary than he is football. 100%. Well, his dad, that, his dad was with the Cardinals forever, right? Right, and him and Troy are, are awesome on football. And like, oh, uh, Buck baseball is he's the best. I, I I think he's the best in, in my in my not well Vince Scully obviously, but just uh, national broadcasts in baseball. It's uh, it's it's Buck and Costas, but Costas has slipped because I I heard him call a game last. Costas year. gets a little too um, preachy, hockey and um, nostalgic, right. He forgets. Costas, Costas forgets there's a game on. Twenty years ago, Does that makes sense. Co- yes, for sure. Twenty years ago, Costas was my favorite, but I didn't even know Joe Buck at that time. But now it's it's Joe Buck. Like Joe Buck is is my guy. Like I love him calling baseball. He's oh. the Vince Skelly of TV, right? For national tele- telecast. Oh, he's so good. right. Like you know, like Vince Scully was radio. Joe Buck is TV, like like that's how good he is. Like, if you and don't gets, like Joe Buck, he gets there's something wrong with you. A lot. I, I don't. I don't get that. I don't understand. Neither that. do I. I go like, what's wrong with you? Joe Buck's awesome. No, he's great. One more to call tonight, Dave. Uh, who is better, Dave Grohl or Super Dave Me. Osborne? <laughs> Super Dave was funny, man. <laughs> it was so funny. I <laughs> actually, you know what? Bizarre. I, I, Bizarre. I'm going to answer this question. I have I have had more enjoyable moments <laughs> watching Super Dave Osborne than I have listening to the Foo Fighters and Dave Grohl. I don't think Dave Grohl's a bad person. I think he's entertaining, but I have had more entertaining moments in my head in my 49 years on this earth with Super Dave Osborne. Funkhauser. Like anyone that watches Kerberly, your enthusiasm, that's uh, Super Dave. Like that was his character on uh, Kirby, your Enth- enthusiasm. Funkhauser. Um, <laughs> and it's, it, it is awesome. Like, you know what? And, and, and and I'm not a, a Foo Fighters super fan. I I get it. Uh, Dave Grohl is kind of a cool guy. Really cool. But, but without a doubt, I remember being a kid, like before I even had hair on my balls, and watching <laughs> Bizarre that move that yeah. show, like that thirty and <laughs> Super Dave stuff. I I just oh, fucking man. pissing myself laughing. Uh, oh, gonna need a hand. Gonna need a hand or whatever it was. Yeah. Like he was just crushed. Didn't turn out very well. Yeah, whatever it was. Well, yeah. Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. <laughs> Fuji, could you drop the mic and give me a hand here or whatever it was? <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not downplaying the greatness of the Foo Fighters by any means or Dave Grohl and Nirvana and everything else, but, but I'm saying in my Super lifetime, Dave Osborne gave me more Super Dave Osborne in my lifetime has given me a lot more laughs. Of learning to fly or whatever their their shows are like are Super Dave Osborne. Super Dave Osborne's better than Dave Grohl. I I, I don't disagree. 
I I I one hundred percent agree on that one too. Fuck, I'm, like, glad, uh, I'm glad you pulled pulled on the, on my side though, because I wasn't sure when I wrote that one down that I was like, what the hell's gonna uh, happen here? Oh uh, no 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 no! Like I I I don't dislike uh, Foo Fighters, but I'm not a Foo Fighters fan. I am fucking Grohl's cool. Grohl is Grohl's cool. Grohl's the superstar that I would like me to think I would be if I was in his position. He, okay. I, I'd be cooler, but yeah. Same thing. <laughs> I don't know what that even meant. Dave Grohl's pretty cool. Oh, no, he's cool. great. He's but great. he never he never made me laugh as much as Super Dave Oz. Yeah, 100%. Anyway, so that's funny. That, that's, that's how and I'm that's, doing it. And, and that's, a, that's a draw. And I think that might be an age thing because of our ages. So, uh, yeah, look up super super Dave we're, Osborne we're, we're on closer YouTube. Closer to to uh, six than we are thirty, and so it's one of those things. So yeah, no, it's a uh, fun show tonight, Dave. We got uh, we we I don't think we solved any or, or caused any problems. I don't think so. Well, Find no, I don't think we people, did. Well, we'll figure it now. out, and you know, and 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 uh, the Broncos are going to be better tomorrow. That is going to be an interesting car. I can't wait. You know, I honestly can't wait for our conversation next Monday because the Broncos Bears battle will be in the books. Yeah. How do you Fuck like that, that for team. A... Fuck that team. Fuck who's that team. Be... One of those teams are gonna be who's making the playoffs? The Astros, the Jays, the Angels, no, the, sorry, the the Rangers and the Mariners. Jays are in Jays are in for sure. Gotta win a game um, here and there, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Seattle's gonna be missing out because Texas is actually showing them who's boss. You know, I've got that wrong every we talk about this every fucking week for last week. Texas three weeks. just can't fucking lose when Texas they play good up and teams. down like a toilet seat at a mixed party. Just until right they, until they play a, a wild card contender and then they win. They win. Yeah, like sweeping Texas, sweep, sweeping Seattle this weekend. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, like, lose, to, lose to the Angels and then sweep, sweep Seattle, right? Like it's weird. World Series champions. Who's going to be at, on the Braves. twenty on the twenty fifth day of uh, September? Atlanta, Bra- Atlanta Braves, Dodgers. Second, Orioles, Baltimore Orioles. You're an Orioles guy. You're not. That's guy. that's who I want. I think it's going to be Atlanta. I want it to be the Dodgers. Orioles. I want the Dodgers to win. It's going Clayton to be fun. Kershaw riding off the sunset. And so that's what's going to be going here for forward on Monday is football. Thursday is baseball. Fuck that team. It's gonna... Fuck that team. We haven't fucked a, a, an MLB team for a while. Oh, the Yankees, but anyway, well, fuck the 14, Yankees. 20 sports podcast. We can't say beer. last thing, uh, you know, that, that bothers me a little bit. We can't say the last place New York Yankees anymore, and, and I enjoyed that so much. Uh, they won today. Hmm. But they're not last place, so. They, might put, a, they might put a hump in the uh, Jays this week. It doesn't matter, because uh, Seattle's playing Houston. To play each other. It's a, it doesn't another. matter, like. Uh, you know, I think the Jays can actually go over for the rest of the year. No one fears. No, I think they got to win two. I think I went two out of six. <laughs> no one fears the Jays, though. No one fears the Jays. Fear the beer. Anyways, the 1420 Sports Bar Podcast. More beer sports talk and a whole lot more. Uh, take care of each other. More importantly, take care of yourself. So you need your own. Keep your stick on the ice. And what else, Dave? Don't swing at high pitches, Jim Valentine. Everyone. You just listened to the 1420 Sports Bar Podcast. Four beer of the sports talk and a whole lot more. We are part of the Belly Up Media Network. Let's get into it.